Ladies and gentlemen, we are here at Impact Pro Wrestling. It's another Thursday, which means it's another episode of IPW coming to you from a new place every time. This time, we're coming to you from Cleveland, Ohio, and we have a great show planned for all of you here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, in our first match of the evening, we are going to see Jacob freaking Buck go one-on-one -on -one with Austin Famous in our first match of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, in our second match of the evening, we are going to have the one and only Prince Morrison go one-on-one -on -one with the DJ of Impact Pro Wrestling, the most entertaining man in Impact Pro Wrestling, DJ Summers. And ladies and gentlemen, later on tonight, we are going to get an update on Trevor Jericho's condition after the uh, the match that he had at Bound for Glory with Beast and the, the beating that he suffered that, of course, we all saw. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in our main event of the evening, it will be Danny Myers versus Adam Cage. Now, this match is not any normal match. This match will be a match to determine the number one contender for Beast's Impact Pro Wrestling World Championship at Impact Pro Wrestling's next pay-per-view called The Rising. We already have our first champion. Now it's time to determine our first challenger later on tonight in the main event. But now that we have talked about all the matches, including Trevor Jericho, let us kick off the show with our first match of the evening, Jacob freaking Buck against Austin Famous. Ladies and gentlemen, we, we were having the intention of starting this night off with, uh, with Jacob Buck and Austin Famous, but it appears here instead we're going to see Henry Long come down to the ring. Looks like Henry Long has, some, has something to say. Or maybe he's just here to watch the Jacob Buck off the famous match. Maybe scouting out some more people for our, for his his client Beast. But whatever his purpose is, he is getting in the ring. Let's see what uh what Henry Long is here for. Ladies and gentlemen, we've just seen Henry Long, and now it is time for our real uh, star of the show, our first match of the night, Jacob Freakin' Buck against Austin Famous. Ladies and gentlemen, it's just about time for us to start the show, and here, right now, comes Jacob Freakin' Buck getting ready for his matchup, walking down to the ring, ready for his matchup against Austin Famous here, wearing his Buck Strength t-shirt. Gotta know that Jacob freaking Buck, gotta be a little bit wary of Jack Smith. Jack Smith and Jacob Buck have had some issues in the past couple of weeks, ever since the very first episode of Impact Pro Wrestling. 
Jacob Buck and Jack Smith have had some issues here, some disrespect. Jacob Buck feel he's been dealt from Jack Smith. Jack Smith not hitting very kindly to the accusations that Jacob has been throwing his way here. We've seen some action being taken, such as uh, last night, Jacob Buck assault on Jack Smith, a low blow, which ended in the backstage area, a super kick in one of the other uh, locker rooms. Haven't really seen Jack Smith put forward any kind of offense. He's he's talked a whole lot. He said some not very nice things, but he hasn't actually backed it up with any kind of action. Although maybe he will at some point in the future. We can't see him right now, but we've got to be wary. He's got to be on Jacob Buck's mind that Jack Smith is somewhere lurking around in the darkness. But right now, we're not talking about Jack Smith anymore. We need to talk about Austin Famous as he walks down to the ring wearing that black, the white, and that pink robe of his. Austin Famous ready for this matchup and ready to truly achieve his goal of fame and fortune. With the famous man's strut and the famous man's jacket, it's time for the famous man's matchup to begin. That's Jacob Buck. That's often famous. Referee's gonna ring the bell and the match has begun. Jacob Buck starting off the match with that nice slam. Now Jacob hitting those ropes, going for a nice senton. Jacob coming up to the top rope, gonna go for a Diving headbutt right there, but Austin Fame was able to dodge, getting control here as Jacob Buck was not able to connect with his move. Austin Famous with that nice kick to the ribcage right there. Jacob being picked up and sent for that ride. Nice suplex right there performed by Austin Famous. Now Austin Famous grabbing Jacob Buck. Austin going for a nice neck breaker center of that ring on Jacob Buck. Now Austin, nice elbow drop on Jacob. Another nice elbow drop. Another nice elbow drop. Three nice elbow drops right there performed by the Famous one. Now Austin getting up Jacob. Jacob with the Irish whip sending Austin to the outside of the ring. First on the apron, then on the outside. Now Jacob going to the outside to get Austin here. Sending Austin into that announce table. He's been now fighting on the outside of the ring. Looks like Jacob Buck about to slam Austin Famous' face into the announce table. Jacob Buck with a nice snapmare on Austin Famous and now delivering some nice elbow shots to Austin. Referee continuing the count here. Jacob Buck's got to get them both back into the ring. This match does not need to end in a count out. Austin Famous, nice reversal. Face crusher right there. Then Austin hits him with that nice jumping clothesline. Austin now getting up Jacob. And Austin doing his job getting Jacob back into the ring so this match can continue properly. Austin with a nice stomp to the gut. And then a nice stomp right to the chest. Nice little two-piece combo right there performed by Austin. Austin going for the pinfall. He's got one, but Jacob Buck able to kick out immediately there. First pinfall of the match, only a one count off the famous nice DDT performed on Jacob Buck. Snap DDT right there. Great move performed by Austin. Austin still in control here. Jacob Buck had a moment of a uh, moment of relief, moment of offense, but uh, Austin Famous back into the ring and back on offense, back on control here. Now Austin going to the second rope, but not gonna fly just yet. He wants Jacob Buck to get up first. Austin Famous with that nice second rope diving neck breaker. Another pinfall attempt here. That's one. Almost two. Close to a two, but not quite. 
often famous. Very good right here on keeping Jacob Buck down. Jacob Buck, a nice reversal face crusher style right there. Now pulling in Austin for two big elbow shots. My correction, three big elbow shots. Now Jacob going for a pinfall of his own. He's got one, but Austin Famous able to kick out immediately. Jacob Buck keeping Austin down with that nice clubbing. Blow to the back. Jacob Buck delivering a nice springboard crossbody to the back of Austin Famous. Austin, nice reversal, grabbing that arm of Jacob, sending him down to the mat. And Austin going for a pinfall. He's got one, but Jacob Buck able to kick out. Austin Famous still in control, delivering a nice flapjack from the fireman carry position. You see Jacob Buck grabbing that body, throwing him over his head. Nice move right there performed by Austin Famous. Austin with a nice elbow drop. Another nice elbow drop. Here comes the third one. There it is. Three nice elbow drops performed by Austin Famous. Austin going for another pinfall here. That's one, but that's not two, and that's far from three as Jacob Buck is able to kick out. Austin Famous still in control here. Then a bow to the crowd as he delivers a leg drop on Jacob Buck. Now you can see Austin Famous, he is ready for this. Getting Jacob Buck up. Trying to turn Jacob over. Jacob able to reverse that attack. Oh, look at this. Jacob, another nice reversal. Jumping over Austin Famous. But Jacob not on offense here. Looks like he's almost playing with Austin. Oh, look at this. Austin slamming Jacob Buck's face into the top turnbuckle. Jacob Buck able to escape whatever Austin had planned there. Off the famous open, nice snap there. Jacob Buck, another nice reversal. Big punch to the gut of Austin Famous. Now Jacob, nice atomic drop. And another nice atomic drop. Two very proficient atomic drops on Austin Famous here. Austin sending Jacob into the corner here. Now into the opposing corner, and Austin going for some kind of avalanche right there, but Jacob able to dodge it, hitting with a nice crucifix. No pinfall attempt right there, but Jacob Buck still in control here. Jacob Buck now finally gaining some measure of control back, and look at this, Jacob stomping on the chest of Austin Famous. I counted about eight stomps right there, but I might be incorrect. Austin Famous, nice kick to the head. And a nice running neck breaker. Now you can see Austin Famous putting in a nice triangle here on Jacob Buck. Trying to make Jacob tap out. Although, a little bit early here, I'm going to offer a prediction that Jacob's not going to tap out. Jacob is not the giving up type as he is able to escape. Jacob Buck going for some kind of springboard maneuver right there. Looks like he uh, miscalculated what he was doing there. Austin Famous turning Jacob around. Turning him into that nice back suplex. And you can see Austin Famous taunting Jacob Buck. Austin getting Jacob Buck. Punching to the gut. And then here comes the backstabber. One arm was locked and he hit him with that backstabber. Austin Famous going for the pinfall after the backstabber. That's one. That's two. And that was almost three, but you could see Austin Famous a little bit angry about that failed three count here. Jacob Buck able to kick out, able to survive for now, but Austin Famous now back in control as he delivers a nice stomp right to the chest. Austin Famous now a little bit taunting to the crowd. Now look at this Austin measuring Jacob. 
Look at this. He went for the fame and fortune, though. It couldn't connect. But that gives Jacob Funk the opening he may need, or maybe not. As Austin Famous hits him with a nice clothesline. Austin Famous now looking down at his work, looking down at Jacob Buck. Looks like Austin might be trying to regain some stamina here. Now Jacob Buck back on his feet. Looks like Austin took too long as Jacob Buck delivers that nice slam. Jacob now giving a little peace side to the crowd, but the crowd not enjoying it. Jacob Buck back in control. He's going to stomp right on the chest of Austin Famous. Now Jacob turning over Austin. He's going to set up for it here. The deadlift German that we all know to be called the Buck Strength. Buck Strength delivered by Jacob Buck. And the buck strength was not enough as Austin Famous is able to kick out. Honestly, can't sound surprised here. Jacob Buck has not been in full control of this matchup. For a lot of this, it has been all about Austin Famous. Jacob Buck, nice tiger suplex. Now Jacob Buck, he hit the buck strength low. Austin Famous able to kick out, can't sound surprised here, but Jacob Buck not going to let that distract him as he keeps going with the offense here. Offense piling on here by Jacob. Jacob going for a flying clothesline. It connects on Austin Famous. Jacob, nice pinfall attempt. He has one, he has two, but that's not three as Austin Famous is able to kick out. You can see the fans on their feet here. Not sure exactly who they're rooting for. It appears to be Austin Famous. But I think a lot of these fans just want to see some good pro wrestling here. And that's definitely what they're seeing, regardless of who they're cheering for. Austin Famous going for a nice pinfall attempt after that reversal. But Jacob Buck able to kick out. Can't sell surprise there. Now Austin Famous taking a different route here. Slowing down the pace of the match. Rolling around with Austin locking in that cross face. Jacob hitting him with the nice Hurricane Rana. Jacob with a nice pinfall after the Hurricane Rana right there. He's got one, he's got two, but Austin the Fame was able to kick out. A little bit quicker on the pinfall attempt there. Might have seen a victory. Oh, look at that. Jacob Buck going for some kind of springboard crossbody. Oh, look at this. Off the Famous. Nice reversal. Small package hold here. One, two. Jacob Buck able to kick out. Austin Famous went for it, but Jacob Buck was able to kick out. But now Austin Famous still in control here as he delivers a nice kick. Austin Famous now dragging Jacob a little bit closer here. Nice stomp to the gut, and then a big stomp to the chest. Austin went for a nice leg drop, but Jacob able to dodge it by getting out of the ring. Oh, that didn't help. Jacob, Jacob, going for a nice small package here. Reversal. One, two. Oh, 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 it was a three count. I thought it, I thought Austin kicked out, but no, it was a three count. A great match here performed by both of these men. A very, very competitive matchup. But it looks like Jacob Buck was able just to come away with the victory. Now here you see some of the great moves that we've had throughout this matchup. And here you see the ending of the matchup. This small package reversal by Jacob Buck able to give him the 1-2-3 victory. Ladies and gentlemen, Jack Smith is here. Looks like he's, oh God, he's setting up Jacob. Looks like Jack is gonna show off his own version of Buck 
strength right here. Jack Smith really just disrespecting Jacob here. Looks like Jacob now has been really disrespected by Jack Smith as he delivers Jacob's own finishing move. And it doesn't appear that Jack Smith is done just yet. Clearing off that announce table. We're about to see what Jack Smith has planned here. Sending Jacob into the corner, then delivering a nice big running boot. Now Jack. Jack and Jacob on the outside. Jacob getting back into the inside. Looks like Jacob does not want to take this to the outside, or maybe he does here. Jack Smith, reverse DDT. Looks like Jack Smith ready to end this here. Maybe Jack Smith's going for the electric chair driver. Oh no, look at this. Here comes the implanted D D T. Looks like Jack Smith has gotten his own measure of revenge against Jacob Buck for the past weeks. Ladies and gentlemen, here is a, a replay of that epic move performed by Jack Smith. You can tell Jack Smith is a happy camper here. Looks like he got his revenge against Jacob freaking Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, our first match has been completed with a little bit of interference from Jack Smith. But now it's time for our second match of the evening. That man to the left, Prince Morrison, will go one-on-one -on -one with DJ Summers. Ladies and Jets, it's almost time for this match to begin, but first, we're gonna need both of our competitors out here. And now here comes the first one here in the form of Prince Morrison. Prince Morrison walking down to the ring getting ready for his matchup going one-on-one -on -one with DJ Summers. Prince Morrison, of course, you may have seen him before if you had seen Bound for Glory. Prince Morrison was in the triple threat match along with Kevin Magic. And the winner of that triple threat match, Jackson Wright, in order to determine the first ever Impact Pro Wrestling Television Champion. Now Prince Morrison, now I wouldn't say necessarily that he suffered a loss. It's hard to say that he suffered a loss at Bound for Glory as he was not pinned. Although it is definitive said that he didn't necessarily win. And he didn't walk out with the championship. But regardless of how you feel about that win-loss kind of scenario, he is here tonight to try to get an actual cohesive win over this man, the most entertaining man in Impact Pro Wrestling, DJ Summers. And as you can see, DJ Summers acting completely normal for him dancing down the ring getting everybody all riled up everybody fired up for what is bound to be a glorious matchup between both of these competitors DJ Summer is a little bit on the eccentric side of, uh, of the personality spectrum but regardless of what you think about him, you cannot deny his results as he is a great wrestler and he can pick up a win whenever he needs to. It looks like we'll see if he can pick up this win tonight against Prince Morrison. Ladies and gentlemen, the match has begun. DJ Summers going one-on-one -on -one with Prince Morrison. DJ Summer starting off the match entertainingly with a nice airplane spin. Of course, not entertaining for Prince Morrison. Being dizzy is never very entertaining. Prince Morrison trying to stop DJ before he gets on a roll here by slipping out of the ring. Looks like he's going to stop him as he delivers that nice back body drop. And he delivers a nice punch to the side of the head.
Prince trying to get DJ up, but DJ able to reverse, turning that into a nice clothesline. DJ tried to give him a nice little kick in this chest right there, but Prince Morrison just pushed that to the side and was able to take control by dealing a running neck breaker. And as you can see, Prince Morrison now in control here as he's about to stomp right on the stomach of DJ Summers. Oh, DJ Summers with a nice dodge. Prince Morrison went for that leg drop. But DJ Summers able to, uh, to dodge it there. Looks like DJ was trying to go for a little bit of a taunting thing there. Trying to kind of mock Prince Morrison. Just slamming himself down to the mat. Looks like Prince was not going to have any kind of mocking. Prince getting DJ up. Delivering a nice suplex on DJ Summers. You gotta say, I like what Prince is doing here. He's wavering here in terms of uh, what his pace is. He's moving back and forth between a very fast pace and a slow pace. He slowed the pace down when he tried to dig his knuckles into the side of the head of DJ Summers, and he's keeping it slow here until he speeds it up again. Kept it slow right there with that camel clutch, although maybe a little bit too slow as Prince Morrison was able to uh, get, get countered right there by DJ Summers, giving DJ Summers the advantage. Now DJ Summers, what's he thinking about here? Oh wait, look at this. DJ. Some hops around the ring. Oh look at this, DJ Summers. Wave to the wave. Here comes the worm on Prince Morrison. DJ delivering a nice suplex on Prince Morrison. Now DJ going outside to the apron. Springboard. Swanton. DJ nice pinfall attempt here after that Swanton. That's one. But Prince Morrison able to kick out. Prince Morrison taking the full impact of that knee to the spine. DJ Summers now attacking that arm of Prince Morrison. Not sure what he hopes to accomplish there, but whatever it is, he most definitely accomplished it. That definitely did hurt Prince Morrison's arm. Prince Morrison, reversal, double leg takedown. Prince trying to get DJ up, but DJ able to reverse, sweeping the leg of Prince Morrison, sending Prince down to the ring. Now Prince getting pinned here. He's got one, but DJ Summers. Was not able to get a three count there. DJ Summers trying to rake the eyes of Prince Morrison. Prince Morrison able to take control here with a nice reversal and then a big old knee to the face. Prince Morrison with a nice snap mare on DJ Summers. Trying to go for another punch to the side of the head. But you can see DJ with a nice reversal and DJ with a running double axe handle. He's hitting the ropes. Leg drop. Looks like Prince Morrison will be the control for the beginning portions of this match. But in the later portions, looks like Prince Morrison has given up control to DJ Summers. Prince now trying to get control back. Going for a suplex. And he hits it. You can see here Prince Morrison with that nice running neck twist. Still trying to gain control, gain the most control here. Prince Morrison slamming DJ's arm into the mat. DJ taking that time that Prince was in control to gain control back himself with a nice reversal back body drop. Prince Morrison though, able to kick out, not able to give DJ Summers the victory over him. DJ Summers breaking the eyes of Prince Morrison that time. Prince Morrison was not able to fight out of it. Prince Morrison, nice reversal right there. Whatever DJ had planned was not good enough. 
Prince Morrison. Looks like the show might be over. That kick to the head was devastating. The show not over just yet. As DJ Summers was able to kick out Prince Morrison, he set up for that Pele kick. It hit. Now he's setting up for a finishing move. The butterfly pile driver. We call it a round here. We call it royalty. The finishing move delivered by Prince Morrison. Now Prince going for the pinfall. He's got one. He's got two. He's got three. And Prince Morrison able to come away from this match with that victory over DJ Summers. A hard fought match by both of these men. But also a hard fought victory here by Prince Morrison. Congratulations to Prince Morrison. And I'm uh, being told now that Prince Morrison has something he would like to say to the Impact Pro Wrestling crowd. We will go and see what Prince Morrison has to say in a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back from commercial. And now we're back and it's time for the update on Trevor Jericho's condition. Now if you didn't see what happened at Impact Pro Wrestling, let me give you a quick little rundown of what had happened. At our main event, it was Beast and this man, Trevor Jericho, one-on-one -on -one for the Impact Pro Wrestling World Championship. Long story short, Beast had won the match one spear was all it took, but he continued to deliver two more spears in the ring. He beat on Trevor outside of the ring and delivered one more final spear through the barricade. After the show went off the air, Trevor Jericho was taken to a local hospital, and this is now the update that we all have been waiting for, the update on Trevor Jericho, the first generation wrestler. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, looks like this, this is the last time we're going to see Trevor Jericho for a while. But you got to know that Trevor Jericho is going to be working harder than Jim, as he said. He's going to be uh, coming back soon. But for now, this is the end of Trevor Jericho.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our final matchup of the evening. It'll be the Superman, Danny Myers, that man on the left, going one-on-one -on -one with the king of the cage match, Adam Cage. And of course, this match will be a number one contenders match. The winner of this match, of course, will go on to our next pay-per-view, The Rising, to face Beast for his current Impact Pro Wrestling World Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our main event almost to begin. But first, we're going to need both of our competitors out here. Here comes the first one. In the form of the Superman, Danny Myers. And of course, Danny Myers, being the Superman, he's got to be ready to use that Superman punch whenever it, it is needed. The Superman here trying to win this match in order to gain an opportunity to gain that number one contendership spot that he needs to face Beast at our next pay-per-view, The Rising. Beast one heck of a competitor in his own right, but will that be enough for him to beat Adam Cage here tonight? We'll find out soon. Here comes Adam Cage, everybody. Adam Cage, a very serious competitor. Not a jokester by any sense of the word. He's coming out here to do exactly what he needs to do to get the job done. Nothing more and nothing less. Walking down to the ring, he is also ready for this match. Danny Myers. Ready to use the Superman punch, Adam Cage. Ready to use the cage driver. Ladies and Jets, this match has begun. And Danny Myers starting off the match strong with that nice T-bone suplex. And following it up with a nice fist drop right to the face of Adam Cage. Now an elbow shot to the back of Adam Cage's head. Adam Cage, nice reversal, taking that arm and slamming it down with Danny into the mat. Danny able to get up quickly, but maybe a little bit too quickly as Adam Cage is able to deliver a nice back suplex. Back body drop reversal right there by Danny Myers. Danny Myers stomping on that arm. Looks like Danny's going to drag Adam just a little bit here and to punch him right in the face. Punch him right in the side of the jaw there. Now Danny Myers delivering two nice elbow drops. Taunting for a third, but there's the third one. Jumping elbow drop. Now Danny going up to the second rope here. Going for a knee drop. But Adam Cage able to get out of the way. Adam Cage, here comes a nice drop kick to the back of Danny Meyer. Adam Cage going for something here, but Danny Meyer's able to block it with his elbow shots. Nice big punch in the face to gain some kind of traction here. Now, Adam Cage being sent into the corner. Being able to fight with a nice elbow shot of his own. Now here comes a follow-up with a knee strike. Danny Myers now taking control. I actually think Adam Cage into that corner. Adam Cage on the reversal, putting Danny in the corner and delivering that nice forearm. Nice drop kick right there performed by Adam Cage. And a nice kick to the back to combo it right there. Springboard crossbody attempt. Dodged by Danny Myers. 
Danny Myers with a nice big kick into the gut. Adam Cage being sent once again into that corner, but this time, instead of a reversal, it's going to end in a German suplex. Danny Myers going for the pinfall here, but Adam Cage able to kick out. Danny Myers delivering a nice elbow to the back of the head of Adam Cage. Adam Cage being sent down once again with that nice snapmare. Now look at this Danny trying to rake the eyes of Adam. Got Adam able to fight out of it and able to put Danny back onto the ground. Adam with a nice pinfall attempt here. He's got one, but Danny Myers able to kick out. Now Adam Cage back in control, dragging Danny Myers so he can deliver a knee to the back of the head of Danny. Now a big old stomp on the face, turning Danny back over. And here it comes once again, a big old knee to the back of the head of Danny Myers. Pinfall attempt here by Adam. He's got one. He's got like one and a half there before Danny Myers is able to kick out. Shoulder claw being applied here. Looks like Danny Myers trying to fight out of it here. He's on his feet. One punch to the gut, one punch to the face. Call one punch man, because that was two punches, that was not one punch. Adam Cage sending Danny back into the corner so he can deliver another nice forearm shot. Here comes a springboard leg drop to the back of the head of Danny Myers. Adam Cage sitting up on that second rope here. And what's Adam got planned? Here comes a top rope crossbody on the Superman Danny Myers. Nice kick to the back of Danny Myers here. And Adam Cage still in dominant control for the while. Here comes another, a third nice knee drop we've seen. I believe that's the third one we've seen this entire matchup. And a drop kick to the back of Danny Myers. Danny being pinned here. And that's a two count right there. Or just under a two count as I saw. I didn't see the referee's hand hit the mat that time. Now, once again, Adam Cage applying that shoulder claw on Danny. Now Adam Cage is going to sit up once again on that second rope. Looks like he's just looking down from his pedestal as he delivers a nice knee drop. Danny Myers able to dodge that stomp attempt. Now this time putting the snap there on Adam Cage and he delivers a nice knee strike to the back. Now Danny getting up Adam Cage quickly. So he can get him on his shoulders and he can deliver a nice neck breaker. Now here comes Danny Myers, delivering three, not one, not two, but three nice elbow drops. And here, here comes the finish, the hand has been cocked, Danny Myers is measuring, here comes the Superman punch! One punch is all it takes and this might be the end of it here. One, two, three. And ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner and your number one contender for The Rising. Your number one contender for Beast's Impact Pro Wrestling World Championship. He is the Superman with the Superman punch to end this match, Danny Myers. Now here you of course see some of the moves that we experienced on the long journey that we have taken here to discover who would be our number one contender by Adam Cage and Danny Myers. 
A great win here by Danny Myers. Able to come away with that Superman punch and come away with the victory here. But the question is, will he be able to deliver that Superman punch at the Rising? Will he be able to walk away with the championship at the Rising? That's what the real question is here. This was battle number one. But the real battle is yet to come. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you enjoy Impact Pro Wrestling tonight. We will see you next week, next Thursday, for another installment in IPW. Good night, everybody.